before you could go anywhere you want. You could wear a bikini, you could wear any swimming suit, lay on the beach and get tan. But now in the time, so you cannot do that. Even the swimming pool is separate ladies and men. If you are going to the beach, you can't take off your clothes and have some swimming suits. So you have to go with your clothes inside of the water. But the men can have short and uh, go to the sea and swim. Um, but you have to have your scarf, you have to have your hijab. I remember I had a beautiful blue, light blue, because my favorite color red and blue. <laughs> and I had a very nice uh, swimming uh, costume. When I went to uh, near the Caspian Sea, in Ramsar or Bandar Pahlavi or different part of Iran, uh, it was freedom for everybody. Nobody make a problem. I I the bikini or together or whatever, and ladies and gents together, and everybody was happy. I had a lot of good memory of those days. It's really good feeling when uh, you have right to choose something. It's a really nice feeling, and when they stop you without any reason, that's most annoying uh, for you to stop to do something without knowing why. I had a swimming costume when I was little and it was um, a Minnie Mouse swimming costume and it was blue and white striped on the front and black on the back and then it had Minnie Mouse's face right in the middle of it. But I, I loved it so much that I wore it until I was really big. So it, the face got bigger and bigger and bigger and more and more stretched. Um, but that was my favorite. But nowadays I'm quite modest. I like one piece things and I'm quite, yeah, don't really like bikinis. After 17, actually the militia's regime uh, put a curtain and a special militia for the coast. So they watch them, what they are doing. The lady and the man should sweep behind the curtain. But for men, no problem. For women, they have to go with the clothes then. Not with the bikini or um, swimming suit. They have to go with their uh, cap or coat or in the sea. Now my husband doesn't mind if I wear a bikini or if I wear the other uh, type of swimming or costume, uh, but uh, it's embarrassing for myself because I don't have a very nice shape of the body. <laughs> because I like to cover myself most. <laughs> no, uh, but last two years I found a really nice, very beautiful, but it's good, so it cover, especially the stomach, <laughs> so it's not embarrassing now to go to swimming. <laughs> it's one way is good, you know, ladies separate, men separate, why not? Sometimes we have to listen to roll of the country, why not? I think nowadays, as the younger generation is more sort of um, in touch with the Western world, you see on you know, the internet now, on TV and stuff, it's not as, um, as unusual anymore, I suppose. So it's a bit more out there, I guess, you know, a lot more people see it. It's maybe not that strange anymore, but yeah. I begged my mum to buy me a bikini and she bought me a tankini, which isn't quite the same because it comes down to here, but it was really nice. It had hibiscus flowers on it and frilly bits. And I used to, when she saw me, I had it down. And then when she left, I'd roll it up as high as I could so that I had a bikini and I could look like everybody else. <laughs> if they want to go for the champion, uh, the girls swimming, uh, they have exactly nearly, not exactly, the same uh, swimming costume 
you in in England they had in Victorian time. Uh, they have from the head to the toe is totally covered, so you can't see any part of their body. <laughs>